Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, I am going to start the warehouse module process in the Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is the part one of the warehouse series where we will learn about the in transit location and the transfer order. Okay, so let me click on the search bar and type here locations. And as you can see, these are the standard locations of Kronos company which are available by default. Okay, so uh, rather than we create a new company, a new location here, let me open one of the already available location. This one. Okay, and as you can see, the name of this location is Own Logistics. Okay, and as uh, this is the part one of the series and as I mentioned that we will learn the concept of in transit location. So the first step is to how to create the in transit location in the business center. Okay. So it is very simple. The only change which we have to do in the location card is to make this switch on field name is use as in transit and you just have to check this field to true this will automatically creates your location as the in transit location rest of the information are not required to fill up in the in transit locations only thing which you have to consider in the in transit locations are code name and the check mark of this field and if we go by the definition of the in transit location it is the virtual location which does not uh, physically exist okay so this location or in transit location actually helps you in tracking the inventories when you do the stock transfer from your location a to location b for example when you give an order to any logistics company who is taking care of your stock transfer then at the time when the inventory is not reached to your desired location or your location B that at that point of time the inventory is on the road or with the logistics company so here in the system to track that part what we do that we tell the system that inventory is in the own logistics or in the in transit location okay so let's go ahead and understand the transfer order concept click on the transfer order here and these are the already available transfer order in the Kronos company but let me create the new button and let me click on the new button and create the new transfer order and as you can see this is the transfer order card or the transfer order document and first of all we have to fill up the general tab so the first field says that we have to input the transfer from code which means that from which location we are shipping our items or we are doing the stock transfer so let me select the blue location here and the transfer to code which means that we must have to select the location where we are actually transferring our inventory so let me select this as red okay and as you can see in transit code is automatically filled up because of the transfer routes setup okay we will understand about the transfer route setup in the later videos but in case you want to change to the own logistics that you can also do okay because we are having the two in transit location in the system okay so let me change this right now about the direct transfer this means that you can directly transfer your inventory from location blue to red and you don't want to keep the tracking of the inventory within the in transit location 
okay but we don't want to do that because we want to track our inventory when it is not in our warehouses but with the logistics company okay so that is the use of these three fields now rest of the information are not mandatory to fill up so we will not consider those fields now let's move to the line part where we have to input the item which we are transferring so here let me input one item which is actually available in the blue location okay currently this is the item which is having around 166 inventory available in the blue location so let me select this and here I will input the quantity which I want to transfer from blue location to red okay so let me input the quantity 10 here and that's it because I want to transfer my 10 quantity now when you scroll your cursor to the right you will find one another field which is quantity to ship and this is editable which means you can actually add it that in how many times you want to ship your 10 quantity to the red location if you want to do it in a one go then you can you there is no need to change that number and keep it 10 here now click on the posting button and click on post so the two options are available first is ship and second one is receive obviously we must have to select the ship first because we must have to ship the inventory first from our blue location then only we will do the receiving in the second location so click select the ship and click on ok and see the system has successfully shipped the 10 quantities and moved the number from quantity to ship column to quantity shipped all right now the inventory is actually shipped from our blue location but it has not reached to red location because of the use of in transit okay this means that logistics company or logistics or your transport actually picked up all your product of 10 quantities from your location blue and it has not reached yet to the red location okay and in case now you want to do the tracking of your inventory you will find that inventory is currently available in the own logistics all right we will check that further once we do the receiving okay now let's consider the fact that your inventory is now uh, reached to your location red so the next activity which you have to perform in the system is to receive the inventory so select uh, or input the number in the quantity to receive column by default it is coming as 10 but in case if you find any discrepancy in the receiving quantity for example if the inventory got damaged or some of the inventory got damaged or lost then you can always change the number okay so let's say if I write here number 9 this means that although the uh, quantities which shipped from the location blue were 10 but when it reached to location red uh, the only the healthy quantity you can consider as 9 and one inventory got damaged and obviously you don't want to receive that damaged inventory or damaged product in your warehouse okay but to make the case simple let me input the quantity as 10 here and let me click on post button and now the second thing is we have to receive and as soon as you click on ok system will transfer the inventory from virtual location or from in transit location to red and transfer order is successfully posted and now deleted because the purpose of transfer order is completed okay now to check up the inventory status or the ledger entries let us go to item card and here 
let us filter the item number as ls75 okay and click on inventory and see if you expand the document type column here you will find just taking a bit time here let's see first it transfers the 10 quantities or it reduces the 10 quantity from blue location and receives those 10 quantities in the own logistics location which is our in transit location right so in although this location is the virtual location it is not your real warehouse but because you are introduced you have already introduced this concept in your system so you are managed to track that inventory in the virtual location also okay so this is our first transaction when we shipped the transfer order after when we received the transfer order what system did system shipped the 10 quantities from virtual location and receives those 10 quantity in the red location so these are the four entries which are created by the transfer order when we shipped and received the inventory all right so this is the concept of in transit location and the transfer order I hope you have now get the understanding of the concept of in transit location and how you can use it in the transfer order process. Thank you for watching the part one of this series. In the second part of this uh, warehouse series, we will understand more about the location card. Okay, because there are plenty of fields available in the location card. So in the second part of the series, we will see what is the use of each field available in the location card okay thank you for watching the video and if you like the video i request you to please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much